What is something people do because they think it makes them look smart, but it actually makes them look really dumb? Share the results of a stupid Facebook IQ quiz. But I had to share it to see the results. Using buzzwords when talking about something they know little or nothing about. I got the blue screen of death and one of my friends told me it was because of my ISP. Or could be my bandwidth. Do you even know what ISP stands for? Oh man. I do tech work for fire alarm panels and I had a co-worker that managed the accounts but knew nothing about the tech side. That's fine. It's not her job to know the tech. But she didn't like to admit it and would call and try to ask me questions using a bunch of industry related words she'd heard me use but didn't understand and it would just be a mishmash of incomprehensible gibberish. To give you an idea. Imagine it's a pizza shop and a customer calls to complain about a cold pizza. She calls me up since I made the pizza and says hey the customer said their pizza was cold. Do you think the mozzarella might have caused the oven to crust over from anchovies being topped from the palmas and bell peppers with olives being cut? Use words they don't even understand. Or alternatively use Latin words. That always makes them sound very quid pro quo. I like to use big words to make myself seem more photosynthesis. I prefer using a polysyllabic lexicon to radiate the impression of being adequately educated. Just because you can't agamemnon with my grammar testicles is no reason to get all myopic and discountenanced. You'll never look stupid for saying who when you mean whom. You'll always look stupid for saying whom when you mean who. Likewise. It's instead of it's is really easy to overlook. But the reverse sticks out like a sore thumb. The rate you for not understanding a joke or phrase and refusing to explain it. Because they obviously don't get it either. Ah. The Olay. I am going to tell you this joke to see how you respond and hope that you say the punchline so I finally get it routine. Correcting everything and everyone in the smallest things. It's just annoying. Even worse how they get offended when someone corrects them. Make up statistics and facts on the spot. 98% of all statistics are made up. Mention their IQ. My cousin once told me her IQ was a 4.0. She was probably right. Though. My IQ is actually 97. So almost a perfect score. My roommate does this the whole time. We both study at university. And whenever we're just having a nice plain conversation. He suddenly pitches the us smart guys with a 130 plus like blah 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 nonsense. Fun thing is that he's now failed his first year for the third year in a row. Here in the Netherlands there's a rule that in the first year you need to get a specific number of study points. Or else you're not allowed to continue and have to choose a different study. You're just jealous you don't have an IQ of 420. Like me. Talk over or interrupt other people with their smart input. We have a serious problem with this on my team at work, it related job. We are a small group. Only 5 people plus my supervisor. We have two people that constantly do this. I read an article about how to combat when people constantly talk over you because I was so worn out over it. They mentioned that it's usually best to stop talking. Wait until they're finished then say. As I was saying before. It has helped tremendously with one of the over talkers. Fingers crossed that the other will become more self aware. If somebody tries to tell me I should try to use homeopathy to cure my cancer you bet I'm gonna shut them up mid-sentence. When you say, hey I didn't know this, but shortbread cookies don't have eggs in them. And the other person says, you didn't know shortbread cookies don't have eggs in them? No Karen. That's why I started that sentence with, hey I didn't know this. Maybe it's more specific to me. OMG guys. Look at this utter doofus who at one point didn't know something which he then learnt and knew afterwards. How embarrassing must that be? Just a bit of sodium chloride. Actually that's all dude. That's what I said. Pretend to be informed about and insist on having an opinion about anything and everything. Above all. A total refusal to ever employ the expressions I don't know. Or please explain. This instantly marks you out as an essentially uneducated person. Well educated people know. Above all else. What they do not know. And they have no compunction whatever about admitting what they don't know implicitly. Because they know that an admission of ignorance is the surest way to remedy it.
and have confidence that they can understand and learn about basically anything. Given time. Know-it-alls are almost invariably covering up for their own intellectual insecurities, while effectively putting them on full display. In fairness, I know smart people who insist on having an opinion on everything. They get away with educated guesses and eloquent wording so frequently that they can't seem to stop bullshitting. I don't think I'm a dummy. But unless you absolutely know they're wrong it can be really hard to catch them out. Weave in and out of traffic only to wind up no further ahead. The people who pull into the end of the on-ramp lane just to skip ahead one single car. I always laugh when someone weaves like they are in Fast and Furious. And then I catch up to the map the next light. Be contrarian or negative about absolutely everything. It's okay to have a negative opinion about something. But some people just love to argue for no reason other than to seem like they're smart. I really really hate when people show up late to lecture. Sit in the front. Then start answering questions the professor is asking just by rewording what they said. Better yet. They show up late and ask questions because they missed the intro. Use extra long. Endlessly winding sentences and niche jargon. I can't remember how many students I had to tell. That no. Writing sentences which hardly anyone can follow and use words which are super specific and hardly anyone knows. Does not make you seem clever or smart. Let alone educated or intelligent. It makes you look like an idiot who has no idea what they are talking about. Since they can't find the words to make other people understand the issue. I always appreciated the spirit of the phrase I would have written a shorter letter but I did not have the time. The most intelligent people I know can break down complex subjects into something the audience can follow. That shows a mastering of the subject not just repeating information. Steering conversations towards their area of expertise. I just asked if you saw Endgame. How are we talking about the Russian boycott of the 1984 Olympics? Speaking of the 1984 Olympics, what do you think of Google's new Pixel 4? Asking pointless questions in lectures. My favorite other teacher please notice I read this book article not on the syllabus but kind of relevant to the class questions. Especially since most of the time the professor doesn't have much of a response beyond acknowledging the connection. I took a year long intensive business program and this one Kisei managed to bring up a book that was mentioned during orientation in just about every class the whole year. You gotta do something for those participation points. That reminds me of a guy from one of my college history classes. On any subject he would always throw out a question that was clearly intended to make it sound like he was already very familiar with the topic at hand but just wanted an extra tidbit of info. It was very transparent and he fell flat on his face one day when he tried it on something he didn't catch at all. The professor was talking about something and said in the words of Lennon McCartney, insert Beatles song quote here. MRI am very smart apparently thought the professor meant Lennon McCartney and asked just out of curiosity. Did McCartney ever admit to being a communist? Prof just stared at him for like 3 seconds of awkward silence and then moved on like he hadn't spoken. This guy at work likes to stand up at his desk and practice his martial arts. Always talks about how if someone were to attack him how he would defend himself in the situation and take him down. With specifics. Gur it's annoying. Is your co-worker Dwight Scroot? Do you even listen to Banjo wearing a shirt of? Yes. Why would I wear a Pink Floyd shirt if I don't like Pink Floyd? Also. Name 3. Band on shirt. Songs. If they can. Congratulations. You look really stupid. I once, 27F, recently had a lady ask me if I was even old enough to remember Iron Maiden. I was like um yeah I just saw them last year not too hard to remember. Answer questions on the spot. It's okay to say I don't know or let me do some research and get back to you on that one. Getting comfortable with that really changed my career for the better because I was killing myself with anxiety when I didn't have answers or making dumb mistakes when I tried to have an answer for everything off the cuff. Tell you they don't own a TV usually within the first 5 minutes of meeting them. Or my mum older retired relatives. I never watch TV during the day it's terrible. I telephone at 2pm. Mum hold on I can't hear you the telly is too loud. This is my truth. Yeah, I get it. 
But that's not necessarily the truth. That's just your dressed up version. That helps you feel better at night. I don't think people do that to sound smart though. In my experience the sort of people who say stuff like that are the same kind of people who get live laugh love tattooed on their wrist. When someone says it's their truth. I automatically assume that they were telling a lie to try and con me. And just resent being called out. Hating anything that's popular just because it's popular. Trying too hard to come across as sophisticated. Edgy. And better. I just genuinely don't like that many popular things and I hate it when people are like haha yay. How can you like that garbage? Like. Dude. Just because I don't enjoy it doesn't mean it's bad. Argue for the sake of arguing. Says you. You're wrong. I'm an English teacher and one of my colleagues who is also an English teacher with tons of experience and professional accolades posted this personal insight of the day on FB. Sometimes people can pinpoint everything wrong about you. But when it comes to correcting themselves a pen don't work. My patients who google their symptoms before they come in. They come in with a differential list that is much different from the one that develops in my mind as we discuss their symptoms. I've had people present to the front desk saying. It's either a heart attack or a blood clot. When in reality it's an upper respiratory infection. I have appendicitis or a bowel perforation when it's really a UT. I'm happy that people seek answers online and critically think but please don't get yourself all bothered until you speak with a professional. I know sometimes we get it wrong. So definitely get that second opinion if you need it. All the knowledge in the world is available online. The proper application of that knowledge is why I got all that extra education. Okay so my wife does this. Wife, I have a sore throat and my glands hurt I don't want to die. This has got to be lymphoma. Me, up, I'm sick you're likely fighting off what I just gave you because we always share our drinks. Wife, no, furiously types on laptop. See, I have all the symptoms of cancer omg I'm going to die. Me, make an appointment if you're that worried. Wife, why? Do you think I have cancer? FML. I'm convinced people dart in and out of traffic thinking they're beating the system and they congratulate themselves on being efficient. In reality, they've saved no significant amount of time and came out looking like an uneducated a-hole saying they know the difference between there, there and there and thinking that makes them smart it doesn't. It's not difficult and I don't care if you can or not. It's so easy for autocorrect to screw it up without the person noticing that it seems silly to bother pointing it out. Should've, would've, and could've. On the other hand, are absolute grammar crimes of the tallest order.